Okay? Headphones, headphones, headphones. Now we have tried good premium headphones. Like Sony WH-1000, XM4, XM3, and even premium TWS like Apple AirPods Pro, Sony XM4, and lots. But today we have Yamaha YHL700A. Long name, but I'm really excited about it because of 3D head tracking. Like it should be really good for live events, IPL. By the way, which team do you support? Just curious. And you have 34 hours of battery life, ANC, and all of that. And we'll experience this together. Yay, let's go. And a lot of people wonder, Pratik, when did Yamaha started making headphones? Like, I have a Yamaha FZ, Yamaha makes bikes. But if you have ever visited music shows or even if you sing, let me know in the comments, Yamaha makes mics, speakers, guitars, and a lot of audio products. So audio enthusiasts like me or artists will know. Yamaha is OG. Now, the most important thing in any headphone or TWS is build quality and comfort. Like, see the amount of cushioning you have on the head strap or the cushioning on the ear cups, like a lot. And imagine what you would do with all those sound quality and features if the headphone or TWS isn't comfortable to wear. So, it's like comfort over everything. And by the way, if you watch TechWiser daily, subscribe to TechWiser over everything. Do it. Please. Now, the headphones come in a box. You also get this carry case where the headphones are kept in this way. You get USB Type-C cable, 3.5mm aux cable so that you can use the headphones in wired mode with your laptop and if you're lucky with your smartphone as well, if you have a headphone jack and this tiny flight adapter. Now, I always check if the headphone case is strong enough. Like these headphones cost 30,000 and you would be really mad if you put the case in your bag while traveling or just inside the cupboard and the headphone inside breaks. So let's test this. It's a very interesting test. I have a book which weighs about 1 kg and we'll put the book on top of it. And see, it goes pretty well tough. And now let's apply more pressure. Like I'll try to press this and you can see it doesn't move. So it's a good traveling case and the headphones have buttons instead of touch gesture. So listen to this. The buttons are really clicky and I personally prefer buttons because they are more accurate and easy to click rather than those touch or swipe gestures which are kind of a hit or miss on any headphones. Another really good feature in this headphone is head tracking. So let me explain to you it in simple words. So currently I'm watching IPL on the TV and let me connect the headphones to the TV. And now these headphones have sensors inside them on either side. And suppose here is where players are playing a cricket match and this is where the commentary team is. And if I'm looking in this direction, I can hear the players here and I can hear the commentary team on the right side. And now when I turn my head towards the commentary side, I can hear the players on the left and the commentary team on the center. That's like really crazy and you feel like you're sitting inside the stadium. Now, the only thing with 3D head tracking is that it uses a lot of battery. So the battery life just drops from 34 hours to 11 hours. So when I'm not watching a live event or a movie, I just turn off the head tracking in the Yamaha headphone app to save battery life. And not just IPL or head tracking, even if you want to watch like live music events, there is 3D sound field and you can switch between different modes like concert hall, outdoor life, or have the feel of a proper studio music room. Now, if you see here, it says bringing you closer to the artist. Now, Yamaha is definitely targeting for good sound quality, but sound quality is subjective, right? Well, before I give my opinion, we'll do a really interesting experiment. We'll blindfold Mrinal and Manu and ask them if they can figure out the costly Yamaha headphones or these headphones, which are like 15 to 16,000, half the price of the Yamaha ones. So this is headphone A. You have to tell me what song to have. No, you can't touch the headphone. You shouldn't touch the headphone. Oh, yeah, Nikal, do. Okay, pause. And now I'll give you headphone B. Yeah, same song. Yeah, the bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. done. Uh, I think both of them are really, really good. So just based on sound quality, which headphone do you think is the mm, costly one? This is the better sounding one. <laughs> B is yes, you are right. It is the costly one. Hmm. The clarity of audio was pretty good. The uh, volume level was not that high, but at the same time, I can feel all the instrument 
and they were going cohesively so will you pay twice the money for this good sound quality it depends on my work if i used for my editing i will definitely buy it on the same time it's not quite portable now to be honest with you these are the best headphones i have tried like i've never tried headphones that are this costly so one thing for sure is you can figure out every single music instrument that is playing from all around the corner which is crazy in terms of sound i felt that the bass was really really good like this good even the mid tones the audio of the singer male or female was good it also comes with qualcomm aptex adaptive which is really interesting like if you're listening to good music the headphone adapts and gives you really good high res audio quality and suppose you're just gaming the headphones will automatically reduce sound quality and bring down the latency to as low as 80 milliseconds and all of this is automatic you don't have to tap press or enable any settings now the only thing is the headphone weighs in like crazy 338 grams so after a point i felt that they are heavy on my head also the headphones have anc now i'll try to show you how the anc feels hold on let me turn on the ac fan and everything so you should be hearing all sort of noise and this is ambient sound and now i turn on anc noise cancel and now we should be able to detect a bit of all the sound would have got cancelled and even i should sound a bit different now this is not a very scientific way to show you anc but this is the best we could share the thing is the anc is kind of average i have seen better anc at this price point or lower now the thing is yamaha is positioning these headphones as really rich supreme bluetooth audio quality for the price and i do agree these sound really good like the best sound I have heard on Bluetooth audio and it's cost 34990 but I can only imagine using these headphones on my desk like not in the metro or even walking and popular Bluetooth headphones work because of comfort and portability so I would like to see a version of these with really good audio quality same audio quality but more portable and comfortable you can check out the headphones from the link below on that note this is Pradeep signing off see you pretty soon pew pew